Welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Magic Mechanical Learning Tutorials. So in this video I am talking about some of the theory portion as well as some of the examples how to calculate the indexing mechanism for the compounding indexings. So in my previous lecture I am also discussing about the how the indexing mechanism is being used then after the simple indexing and then after now it will be for the compound indexings. So let us see the theory when the available capacity of index plates is not sufficient so it will be not used for the simple indexings to do a given job or you can say dividing the periphery into equal number of parts if you cannot performing that kind of divisions on your gear blank or you can say require number of index then the compound indexing method is being used or you can say adopted so let us see in that case of a compound indexing method so here it will be the sum of the arrangement of the index plate moment you can see over here so that will be having a different hole circle system with the different holes so in that case first the crank is moved into the usual fashions so like this index plate is moved into the usual fashions or you can say forward directions then further motion is added or you can say further motion is added or you can subtract subtracted means it will be the reverse movement added means it will be further additions right so the index plate after locking the plate with the plunger and this term compound indexings so basically the two kind of movement is required to performing an exit indexing with the application of compound indexing. So at initial state our index plate it will be moved into the clockwise directions. Then according to the given equations or the relations it will be added the motion or that will be into forward directions or you can considering as a it will be the backward directions. So that will be depends upon the which kind of relation is being used or you can say which kind of equation is being adopted to performing and compound indexing problem. So let us see the equations x plus or minus y and that should be equal to 40 by n. So 40 by n is nothing but it will be called as a simple indexing mechanism. So if you maintaining the this x and y value to performing the perfect compound indexing problems so let us see now the calculating part of a compound indexing so here it will be the given example for 77 teeth is being required to performing an indexing problems so generally just you can see over here it is necessary to convert these fractions into the two fractions corresponding to the two whole circle in a same plates. So let us see over here we have to select such a plate which will be having a two dead fractions. So here it will be the standard plates is available for brown and sharp it will be plate number 1, 2 and 3 and for Cincinnati and Parkinson dividing head plate number 1 with the two different sides for the side 1 and side 2. So we can use either from the brown and sharp and either from the Cincinnati systems. So generally more focus on to the brown and sharp system because that will be the very much flexible for performing a required number of the index. So just you can concentrate over here the step number one for making an indexing for 77 teeth. So factorize the numbers into a suitable whole circle in a single plate. So for 77 I would like to divide like 11 into 7. So that will be nothing but 77. So here it will be some fractions is required for selecting a whole circle system from any of the brown and sharp system or you can say Cincinnati Parkinson dividing head system. So I would like to start with the one number. So if I multiply with the one and one so it will be 11 and 7. So there is no any kind of 
whole system is available for a 11 and a 7 so you can see that minimum value for a selection of a plate and that will be over 15 over here just you can see so minimum 15 is required so for here it will be 3 so 21 over here and for 3 so 33 over here just you can see over here plate number 2 from brown and sharp systems so 7 multiplied by 3 so 21 and 11 multiplied by 3 so that will be the 33 whole circle system for the same plate so just you can refer that standard data and select your value for both the fractions like this here it will be the 21 and 433 so both the value for 21 as well as that 33 it will be only into the single plate system so there is no any other options is available for making a 77 teeth so here step number one dividing your fraction like 11 into 7 then 1 2 and 3 so just you can see that selecting brown and sharp plate number 2 with your so this means that the 33 and 21 are the whole circle are have been identifying for the indexing mechanisms so now for finding a 33 whole circle and 21 whole circle system there is a step number 2 find the exact indexing mechanisms so x divided by 21 plus or minus y divided by 33 so 21 and 33 that will be the whole system we are selecting from the plate number 1 with the brown and sharp systems so that should be equal to 40 divided by 77 that would be nothing but our simple indexing so just you can make a LCM over here so 21 multiplied by 33 so you will get 693 so for finding that this value just you can see that so for 77 index that will be 693 is required so for 40 how much is required so just you can see 14 t 693 divided by 77 so you will get the 360 over here so just put the value of 360 over here then you can make a simple equations like 33 x plus or minus 21 y that should be equal to 360 now solving these equations by trial and error methods so there will be the multiple answers is available for that problem so if you solve by trial and error method so you will get definitely answer x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 3 for the positive sign of these equations so just put the value of that x and y over here so x is equal to 9 over here so 9 divided by 21 for positive signals so we are considering the positive and y is equal to 3 so 3 33 that should be equal to 40 by 77 so what is the meaning of this just you can concentrate that will be the important part of the theory hence the indexing required for 77 teeth for brown and sharp with the plate number 2 we already select so 9 holes into 21 hole circle system so 9 holes into 21 whole circles then that will be using a positive sign so that will be added to the 3 holes into 33 whole circle systems in for getting a 77 teeth so that will be the answer number 1 if you can more use by the trial and error methods you can also find x is equal to 66 y is equal to 3 so just put the value of x over here so 16 divided by 21 this time we are using negative signature so negative 3 y is equal to so 3 divided by 33 that should be equal to 40 divided by 77 
So what is the meaning of that? Hence the indexing is required for 77 teeth for brown and sharp with the plate number 2. 16 holes in 21 hole circle systems that should be subtracted because of the minus sign over here. We are using the minus relations. So subtracted to 3 holes into 33 hole circle systems to get 77 teeth onto the blank. So by this method you can easily understanding a compound indexing process and you can also calculating in simple way for either you can addition or either you can subtract from your moments. So if you like it then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials. Thank you very much.